to be or what was to come. The BAFTA goes to... The huge audience, and I'm thrilled for that. The Critics' Choice goes to... Our show is worldwide. Hey! Jody Coma. Sandra O. Killing Eve. Killing Eve. Oh, Killing Eve! What? Sweet to be shooting the final season, but I'm also a big believer in leaving something while it's good. Of course, the, this is sad, but we have to look at it as a good thing. Very rarely in life are you in things that you don't want to finish. It's been a tremendous gift to be able to, as I'm changing as a person, to put it in the work. My favorite thing about this season is I got to act with Fiona Shaw. Her hysteria sort of encouraged me to go further. There was one shot which we couldn't do because we were laughing so hard and the tears were literally dripping off my chin. How many people are just bags of gas, expelling air, and they have nothing of any great worth to say? Just farting from their mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jody and I, we've been able to really rely on each other throughout all the four years. It's really brought us quite close. You should never tell a psychopath they are a psychopath. It upsets them. Are you upset? my voice being a part of the show because the producers have always really encouraged me to speak up and I've got to explore so much through her. That's the lovely thing about these journeys, that you're just the boat on which the story sails. Wow. Oh, get over it, Eve. I have all my best thoughts in the bath. Writing the very final moments of Killing Eve has been the most amazing honor and the biggest responsibility. We have changed, the show has changed and grown. What it has done is give women writers a great opportunity to fly in a way that perhaps hasn't been seen before. It's been incredibly important to have female writers across the seasons. They've said from the very beginning they just want the story to feel weird and true and have a different kind of more humorous slant to them. The tone of Killing Eve is a completely unique one. It sort of needs to have that slightly ad hoc feel to it to make it inventive. What are you looking for? A kitchen knife. What for? you with. <laughs> There's so much to be said about the impact of Killing Eve culturally. It's unbelievable that people found our show. I am mind blown. What? I might cry. <gasps> yes! Ah! It's, so, it's so good. Thank you. I will miss getting away with all this mischief. Killing Eve is this like celebration of kookiness and spontaneity and the absurd. <laughs> It's about daring to go outside the boundary of our expectation. Oh my god! It's wonderful that whatever Villanelle wears, everybody wants. It's just been great to know that there is a fan base who will appreciate even Villanelle. I'm very proud that Carolyn found a way through two very glamorous girls who run the show. I was supposed to be here for four episodes, and it became like four seasons. You know you really don't have to be so dramatic. Thank you for your passion, your fan art. Bonjour! It really wouldn't be what it is without you all. I don't know how that's gonna feel when they say cut for the final time. I'm incredibly sad. I've been in some wonderful shows in my life, but in the end, it's only a handful that you really miss, and this is gonna be one of them. I'll miss the crew a lot. Our crew is amazing. I'll miss the characters, because I really have fallen in love with them and how complicated they are. <laughs> are you flattering me? I think there's so much shifting in our world. The fact that we were able to make our show when we did is remarkable. Are you all right? 
I'm very proud of what happened to the series around the world. What we've been able to build, that's what I'm most proud of. <laughs> it's been decent, to be fair. Thanks for the good time. <sighs>